Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with a video, another video. All right, y'all, it is Fish Friday. I think last week we did uh, fish fingers. Show did fried fish fingers or fried fish sticks. Okay, we're going with shrimp this week. And I'm going to show y'all the same procedure as I did last week with the fish fingers or the fish sticks with the flour, egg, egg, uh, milk mixture, and the Japanese breadcrumbs in the fryer. This is guaranteed restaurant quality crispy fried shrimp, y'all. Don't take long to cook at all. So we're going to step right into the video. Like I said, all we got is I'm going to season the shrimp up. We got flour. I got flour in my bag here. Egg and a little milk and Japanese breadcrumbs. So we got some 1620s Kellogg shrimp here. I'm going to put a little seasoning on here. On these bad boys. Got a little Uncle Steve shake there. Got a little Cavender's Greek seasoning here. And of course, we're going to put some salt and pepper on here. with a little kosher salt and white pepper. Get this out the way. All right. We're going to mix that up really, really good, y'all. Make sure it's all mixed up there together. All seasoned up in there. It's so easy, y'all. Okay, I'm going to throw all these shrimp in my bag here with the flour. Get rid of this. I'm gonna shake this up here, make sure all the shrimp is good and coated. Make sure they're really good and coated. All right, now, here's the part where you gotta be nice with it. Okay, Got the shrimp right here. We're going to take it out of the bag, dust it off, throw it in the egg mixture there. Make sure you dust all the flour off that you can, y'all. Very important. Very important here. I'm going to show y'all a couple of them, then I'm going to step off and finish breading them up. Okay. Got our shrimp there. And what we're going to do, we're just going to lay them in the Great crumbs here, we're gonna push it really, really hard where the step where the coating stay on it. See that? Put in the milk flour mixture. Press down and make sure to knock off the excess. And do a couple of more here so I can kind of show y'all, and then I'm gonna step off and finish these up. See that? Make sure that the uh the shrimp is flat. Is the is opened up? See this part here? Make sure that's open when you put it in the Japanese breadcrumb. Put it in there. Push it down. One more here. All right. All right. See that? Now I'm gonna step off here. Y'all, I'm going to finish these rest up, and we're going to come back, and I got my oil heating up here to 350, and we're going to uh, fry these bad boys off. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, my oil is heating up. Let me show you the shrimp here. See this shrimp over there? That's what you want, y'all. That's what you want on your breaded shrimp. Now, we're going to head over to the oil here. It's about 380 degrees, y'all, which is fine. You want it to be on like 350, or 380 will work too. Just going right in the oil here. We're going to cook a little at a time. A little at a time, y'all, because you know the oil is going to drop. It's going to drop just a little. You know shrimp don't take long at all anyway. Shrimp don't take long at all. So anyway, y'all, we're going to step off, get these fried up, and we'll be back when I take the last batch out. Old school, crispy fried shrimp, restaurant style. We'll be right back.
All right, y'all, we are back. All right, y'all, we're gonna turn this off and take the last of the shrimp out of here. Look how pretty golden brown these are, y'all. Beautiful golden brown and crispy. Shrimp, shrimp take about a minute and a half to cook, y'all. Maybe two minutes. Move y'all over here and show y'all. Look at them good shrimp. Look at them nice, beautiful shrimp right there. Nice, golden brown, crispy. Can't get no better than that, huh? That's restaurant quality right there. And you see how easy I did it. You see how easy and simple it was what I did. So I'm gonna step off. Y'all get this plated up. And we gonna come back, y'all. We gotta, I gotta try these out for y'all, right? We gotta try these out. Old school, restaurant style, crispy fried shrimp. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Let me see here, y'all. Get it, put this in your plate for your family, on the table for your family, y'all. Good eating right there, ain't it? All right, let me get this one right here. This what I, look at this here. Look at that nice shrimp, look at that. That's 1620 is tell on, y'all. See that? Nice crispy shrimp. So I'm gonna cut this with a non be fancy. And I got me, y'all need to try this out. I love this stuff with seafood, y'all. Get you some of this. Ooh, y'all, a seafood sauce. It's a little spicy, a little sweet and spicy. It's absolutely amazing with shrimp, y'all. I love it. If you see that in the store, grab that. Been using it for the last maybe two or three months. I'm gonna cut this. Show y'all it's cooked inside. See that? How pretty and white that is. See this? Okay, I'm gonna dip it in a little sauce here. And going in. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, man. That's so good, y'all. Mm. Shrimp nice and tender. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing, I'm, I'm keeping it classy. Let's just show y'all, see that? Shrimp is perfectly cooked. And it's not dark, see that? Oh yeah, yeah. On a bite. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Ain't getting no better than that, right? Ain't getting no better than that. Let me tell y'all. Y'all know I buy my shrimp wholesale. These shrimp here cost me it's about two pounds. I got them for three something a pound. It's like seven dollar with the shrimp. You go to the restaurant, see if you get this for seven dollars. Mm -mm. You're gonna pay way more than seven dollars. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Beautiful. Y'all, you can tell. I do. <laughs> How many of y'all eat crawfish tail? Fried crawfish tail. Mm -hmm. oh mm. All right, y'all. I guess I'm in my element right now. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, let me slow the video out. Mm. If you like the video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow me on the social media account, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, or oldschoolsoulfood.com. Remember the hashtag 2023, just show some kindness. Old school soul food. Until next time. Have a blessed old school soulful day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a happy blessed Friday. Love y'all. Bye.